ஏ ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் எஸ்ஏபி எஸ்டி அண்ட் அபேப் லீக் சப்போர்ட் டுடே யூ வில் சி வாட் ஆர் த டிஃப்ரெண்ட் மைக்ரேஷன் டூல்ஸ் அவைலபிள் இன் எஸ்ஏபி ஸோ பேசிக்கலி எஸ்ஏபி ப்ரொவைடட் செவரல் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் மைக்ரேஷன் டூல்ஸ் இன் எஸ் ஃபோர் ஹனா இட் இன்க்ளூட்ஸ் data migration cockpit and rapid data migration and legacy system migration workbench there is nothing but lsmw and smart data integration so in this session we will see what's the overview of this each and every tools in detail if you want to understand in detail about each and every tool means you can explore it or i can share that videos later if you want me to discuss about those tools separately one by one okay the first one is that sap data migration cockpit that is sdmc and it is one of the key tool for migrating data to sap s4 hana so the main important feature about this SDMC tool is that it is integrated inside this SAP S4 HANA itself and it will support for uh, migration from SAP as well as non-SAP source systems. That means data can be migrated from SAP to SAP or non-SAP to SAP systems. The source might be anything. And it can provide the predefined objects with source and target structures so whenever we want to transfer any data we should do the mapping the source and target right that is predefinedly available in sdmc and it will it will be the more have that um, mapping capabilities and conversion rules and with help of this sdmc we can do that uh, data validation and error handling also very much possible it's suitable for uh, cloud public cloud private cloud and on premise systems okay now let's see how many ways data can be a data can be transferred in sdmc so first it will support file method okay so this is the one of the way of transferring the data in file method will be used whenever we try to transfer the smaller data volumes if the volumes are very less then we can go for this file method and we can extract the data from source systems into xml or csv files then that files will be uploaded into dmc data migration cockpit and it will allow us to prepare the data offline also okay this is one of the file method where it will support csv and xml formats of downloading the data from source system and the next one is that staging table method so this method is used in case of if you want to transfer the large volume of data and in this case we are not using csv or xml files we are stand, we are loading the data into staging tables in sap s4 hana database and in this method we can use external etl tools etl is nothing but extraction tools for data extraction and loading and it will provide more flexibility to prepare the data and transformation as well and mainly this will be used to handle the complex data structures so this is about staging table method and the next one is that direct transfer method
and this is specifically available in on premise version and it will enable the direct transfer from ABAP based SAP source systems. Okay, the source should be ABAP based SAP source only. And we can use RFC connection to access the source system data. And in this, in this method, we can eliminate the intermediate file creation or staging tables. As I said, every method like file method, staging table method, or direct transfer method, every method has their own pros and cons. So depending on that uh, volume or data in the source system, we can decide which way we can go ahead and load the data. So these are the three methods available in SAP data migration cockpit that is SDMC. The next one is that SAP rapid data migration. So here also we have that uh, free configured template and automated processor available. It improves data quality and it will reduce the risk and uh, it will cost also will be lower only. So So this one also supports both SAP and non-SAP source systems. And here also we can validate the data capabilities. And it includes pre-built data extraction, transformation and loading process. Nothing but ETL, extraction tools. So in this rapid data migration, we have a dashboard and reports for monitoring and migration process. So we have a dashboard available in this and we can go through it and understand what's the current stage of this migration process, upload data process. So live analysis can be done here with the help of this SAP rapid data migration. And this rapid data migration also used for complex transformations. Like if the data is complex, then this also can be used. And this one also integrated, integrated with SAP and non-SAP source systems. And the next one is that a legacy system migration workbench. That is nothing but LSMW. We know that in we have we have been using this LSMW in uh, previous S4 on systems as well. Like we have so many ways. The data can be transferred right in LSMW. That is a batch input, direct input, BOPI, IDOCS. So, like this, we have several options available to load the data into SAP system by using LSMW. But SAP suggested that don't go for LSMW. If anything, because SAP won't support any kind of issues for LSMW in S4 system, but still LSMW available in S4 system, it's up to that uh, client or the project team to decide whether to go ahead with LSMW or not. The reason here is that SAP introduced advanced tool comparing to LSMW that is LTM LTMC legacy transformation migration cockpit so LTMC is an advanced version of LSMW and in LTMC we have a lot of options available which is uh, works more efficient compared to LSMW to load and transfer the data to SAP system So due to this reason only LSMW is not supported by SAP, but still, if you want, we can use it. There is no harm in it. As we know that LSMW mainly used to transfer the master data and transactional data, and it can provide the step-by-step -step approach for data migration. So in LSMW also will create that project creation, structure definition, field mapping, conversion conversion rules and uh, data import and validation
and we can support data validation before final import. So like this, LSMW still can be used in S4HANA. And the last one is that smart data integration. It is one of the component of SAP HANA platform and that will enable real-time data integration, replication and transformation across different data sources. So the main important advantages or features of this uh, smart data integration is that real-time data replication and integration and we can handle high volume of data loading and the data transformation capabilities again it will also support both SAP and non-SAP source systems and the data can be moved in a batch or real time and this smart data integration has built-in adapters and SDK for custom adapter development right so the main advantage of this data integration is that with help of this uh, tool the data quality and uh, accuracy consistency will be improved a lot and it will reduce the complexity and cost as well and it's mainly used for the higher larger data volumes so these are the tools available even I can give one more tool that is Cinity. The Cinity tool also available. That's not SAP tool. That's in uh, outside SAP. That tool also can be used to transfer the data, load the data into SAP system. But uh, I am discussing here only about SAP tools available to migrate the data. If still are aware of any other tools, means please do let me know. I will also learn from you. That's it from this video friends, we can catch up in the next video. Bye for now.